Hey guys, welcome back on our channel with a very special dedicated video to one and only Marvel! <laughs> so, today is Marvel's Day vlog yep. and uh, so we decided to start this vlog um, in the afternoon because we are taking him to a doggy park to the doggy park Marvel yes do you want to go to the doggy park <laughs> he sure does look at him <laughs> yes we are coming too Come on. so guys um, I know we have been promising you that we want, we'll do a video on like how we take care of Marvel, some tips and tricks, some suggestions, purely suggestions. You do it or not, your wish. Um, but uh, so that is this vlog. We this is just gonna be centered about Marvel, what we feel, why we feel, where we take him to the dog park. This dog park that we are going today is basically this is the first time we are going to this dog park. So let's see how he likes over there he is pretty excited he knows yeah. that he's going in the car so let's see what marvel does marvel's when lifestyle. yes this is like a marvel's lifestyle yeah. so let's go he is super excited and he knows that we are going in the car he knows i think just leave him he'll pull you otherwise So that's her car over there and he'll run straight to the car. <laughs> Mommy has the keys. Oops, I'm sorry. Sit. Sit. Can you sit? Maybe you have the keys. Take it. Sit. 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 Good boy. Okay. There he goes. Marvel, are you excited? Sure does. <laughs> Park. Let's take Marvel inside. There are so many dogs. Is there? Not here, Marvel. I guess. Come here, here, Marvel. This way. Ah, nice. They also have a dog wash area. This is beautiful. I love it. This is a great park, actually. Yeah. yeah. Ready to go in? Hmm? And be a good boy. You already making fun. Wow, he's running around. I love this park. You can see it's so nice and clean and big and maintained. I have to say this. You're just peeing everywhere. You can nice. Look at the Okay, ready? There is okay, sit, sit. <laughs> okay, okay, let's kick, let's kick, let's kick. go. Bring it back. You gotta fetch. Come after that one. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Do you like water? 
Where are you taking that? You are supposed to just drink. <laughs> so we are done with the park. He is super tired. We are going back home now. Come. So this is like you gonna take him to wash? Yeah. Come. You want a little bit water? Come. I know. This is like a dog wash area. I'm gonna hold the heat leash. Yes. You have to open the uh, collar, uh, the harness also. Okay. It's gonna get wet otherwise. Come in. Marvel, come here. Wait, wait. Give me the yeah. Okay, you promise you're not you're not gonna wet daddy? <laughs> water! Water! What are you talking about? Uh -huh. Water! Wow. wow, is it cold water? Yeah. Nice. Are you having fun, Marvel? Whoa, <laughs> Yeah, it's super hot. I'm sure he must be no. feeling oh, good. We are back home and he is super tired. He is relaxing right he's here. He's going to be tired for like a couple of days. Yeah, he's going to be tired, yeah. Look at him. He doesn't even want to get up from here. He also had a nice bath, you guys saw. So it cooled him down and yeah. Marvel, did you enjoy? Did you enjoy today? Hmm? No, he's gonna sleep, let him sleep now. Yeah. He's gonna get his beer to sleep and then get his dinner. Yep. Good night. Sleep for some time, okay now? Hey guys, so it is 6 30 almost and we are serving Marvel's dinner. Yeah. So, what we give him for dinner? We feed raw. And I think this is becoming more and more of a motto these days. Um, people are trying to... It's gonna go dark for a bit. This guy is here. Marvel, sit. Sit, mommy's bringing dinner. Sit. Good boy. So, I think... Um, it has become a motto these days. People are trying to spread more and more awareness of feeding raw to your uh, pet. And the only reason is even the best and the bestest companies that give you kibble are not what you think they are. So, his dinner is ready. Right here. So there is chicken neck, chicken blend, which, is all, which also has veggies. And there is pumpkin and goat milk. Yes. So, while she gives him the food I'll tell you why we give him what we give him so as I was saying uh, raw food is what nature intended your pet to eat and in short term we don't see uh, we don't see uh, okay what what big difference it's gonna make well here's, here's the deal uh, any pet who has been eating raw food diet has a lifespan way longer than the pet who eats uh, kibble. Yeah. So that's for starters. So uh, we were talking to somebody at the dog park today and their pet was fed raw and he uh, or she was able to, it lived for like 16 and a half years. So it definitely elongates the lifespan of your pet. It definitely keeps them healthy because one of the many um, facts is that um, when you feed uh, when you feed uh, kibble it takes up to 10 hours or 12 hours or 8 hours for the dog's body to digest that food whereas raw food is mostly water and it could be easily digested within 4 to 6 hour cycle so the body organs are working less to digest the food and most of the food just becomes the part of the body instead of becoming the part of the waste that gets eliminated so that's one of the many reasons now we give him chicken blend and the blend is nothing but it's chicken blended with um, the most nutritious part of chickens like organs um, and then it is blended with 
some carrots, some squash, some uh, broccoli, all, all, all those uh, superfoods you can call them. So all those superfoods and goat milk is the most healthy probiotic that you can give to your dog. Like for humans you need healthy bacteria in your guts to digest the food to make your system better you know so many problems arise from your bad gut or tummy so the same applies to your pet uh, you need to give him a probiotic and the best probiotic for pet is goat's milk so goat's milk is what we give him with his every meal and then pumpkin is uh, very good for their guts so it keeps the uh, Pumpkin is not something if you may skip if you don't want to give it but no I would say always give it because pumpkin keeps your pet's gut again healthy and so if he is having diarrhea if he's having any kind of issues with his poop I would say give him pumpkin because pumpkin kind of naturally control that if he's having diarrhea it will harden it up if he's having constipation it's loosen up uh, it will loosen it up so it works both ways. So pumpkin is really really good for their health as well. Now we are telling you this from our very experience because Marvel has been through a lot uh, with his skin disease and his um, his skin problem. Yeah, skin he, problems. His coat was com yeah his coat was completely gone um, when he was a pup. His coat was completely gone and his tummy was always upset. Yeah, and so when we moved here oopsie <laughs> yeah when we moved here you want to go start dressing yeah. him up so when we moved here we found a lady who started educating us on raw diet and then there's this amazing amazing doctor who did a video on uh, why to feed raw to your pet we watched that video and stuff so this, as i said there's a lot of awareness going around this so we have experienced this he was on like steroids, antihistamines, so many medications previously and the moment we started this diet, all his medications have been stopped for last one year and I can tell you... Oh, two years now. Two years. Yeah. Um, less than two years but yes. Uh, and you can see his coat is all is back. back. So he lost he hair is, and like entire this area with yeah. his tail and everything. So his... This part with his tail, everything... He lost hair, but now this is a cute little puppy. Cute little puppy. So, so yeah. So that became one of the many reasons we wanted to spread this out and do a video on this thing, so that to all the pet owners out there, if you can do it, it's that simple. I mean, you know, it's much more healthier to feed raw to your pet. And again, of course, I'm not enforcing you. It's just education. Like I'm trying to educate you guys. It's an education video kind of thing. Uh, just is sharing some knowledge base that we gain from our experience. Um, we don't want you to experience these kind of things that we experienced with Marvel. Him being wrapped around with a um, cone and all, all, all the stuff. time so he because of, itches back yeah. and all that. And then being on steroids and PST means his system was completely dead inside. His body wasn't functioning by himself. But now, all that in the past. So you guys can at least start, if you want to start, you want to see the difference. You guys can start, you start by using pumpkin and goat milk and then see the difference. And then when you see the difference, you guys will be like, oh my god, and then you'll totally switch to raw food. Yeah, I mean little things at a time, whatever is convenient for you. But yeah, don't go and buy the meat or, or any kind of human grade meat and then just give it to them because this meat with what which we feed him this is not processed like it is especially made for pets so you can find a raw pets raw food pet store near uh, wherever you live and oh yeah and if you guys uh, are on instagram go follow we feed raw we feed raw yeah. And you can go, and this is not a promotion video. Yeah, we don't, we, don't, we don't even get our food from them. We don't. So please do not take it that way. Um, but yes, go check out We Feed Raw um, because we follow somebody on Instagram and we got to know from there. So you can even order online. So, anyways, uh, we are gonna go take Marvel for a walk because this is his walk time. Yes. And today I'm taking him without his gentle walker. Uh, 
uh, otherwise we were we are trying to train him with his gentle walk to walk properly leash. Uh, but today i'm just taking with the harness now since we are on this topic real quick this harness is not the harness where you clip him from back yes we are going in a minute you clip him from here because this enables you to have a better control yeah. this enables you to have a better control yeah. so it is he will pull you less with this harness so let's go So Marvel always comes up to this place because his see, friend Turtle. Here you can see the turtle. There's lives a here. Come here, Marvel. Is it a tortoise or a turtle? Turtle. It's a turtle. I so you guys so. can see, I think. Do you see? He's in there. That I one. Let's so meet him. I'm giving you guys a better look. Uh, I hope you guys can see. Turtle. Turtle. Can you come out? So I hope you guys, yeah, I think you guys can see. Turtle! Turtle! Yep, there you go. Far away. See your friend? Is your friend here? <laughs> Okay, so we are back from the walk and every time we come back there's a process that he has to go through <laughs> so let me show you that Wait. so he has to stay here sometimes normally he does stay here by himself otherwise i put a door here so he stays there and he goes through a process <laughs> which is pretty simple and it, it can save you a lot of money because you can go and buy an expensive antifungal uh, in the warm weather or a rainy weather for your dog to keep his uh, paws uh, clean. Uh, what we use are two things. One is apple cider vinegar. Yeah. Just and plain apple cider original. Yeah. Plain original apple cider vinegar that you can spray on your pet's uh, paw, paw and it acts as an antifungal. So it's a great thing and it's a money saver, big money saver. Yeah. Uh, another thing that we use is uh, Povidone Iodine Solution. And Povidone Iodine Solution, she, how do you make it? I just use like, hold Marvel, don't eat it. Don't do it. So this is the one I use. So this is a Povidone Iodine Solution. This. Oh, there we go. So this is a Povidon iodine solution. It is pretty cheap. It's like a dollar or two or whatever, three dollars bottle. And you take like one fourth of it and mix it with, with the rest like two of water. Cups of water. Like just fill this entire bottle. It is 22 ounce. So I fill this entire bottle with one fourth cup of Povidon iodine. Yeah. So, and you can use this as anti bacteria, feet. like yeah, every, anything. if there are wounds or there are blisters or anything, yeah, anything. Rashes or anything. Yeah, rashes or anything. Just, just spray this uh, another and thing is this and this is original Listerine, Listerine the not one. yeah the, like the old one <laughs> <laughs> and Listerine is a very good antiest means kind of thing so if you don't want to feed buy those expensive bottles of uh, hot, spot hot spot spray yes that's the word so if you don't want to buy the expensive bottle of hot spot sprays don't do it. Go buy a Listerine, fill it in a spray bottle, and just to spray on the hot spots. And no hot spot, no hot spot worked on him. Yeah. Like a Listerine does. It works like a charm. It will vanish in a day. Yeah. It will just go away. He'll just instantly calm calm your pet down. So, anyways, that were some of the things that we use uh, for Marvel, and they are real money savers and effective very effective so, so home remedies other than those expensive yeah. Models. yeah so maybe this will help you with your pet this guy is just playing here with daddy's slipper hmm. this is usually his play time what is the time right now it's eight no what is the time it's 8 45 8 47 yeah yeah 
so he is usually very energetic right now and around this time and look at his face <laughs> marvel you know that is wrong and daddy will scold you this is very very wrong you should drop it go get your toys play with your ringer where is your ringer hmm no okay Good night. I'm telling Marvel a story, or I discuss his day. His <laughs> days are very hectic. He goes through a lot during the day, so he gets pretty tired. So this is Daddy and Marvel's cuddle time. And sometimes I tell him a story of Odin and Thor with a chicken <laughs> neck. Hmm? Or sometimes he, we discuss his day, and he goes to sleep. You sleepy. Good morning, Margo. Good morning. Are you stretching? So instead of sleeping on his bed, he was sleeping here. Good morning. Yes. Did you sleep properly? Have a good night's sleep, Marvel. Uh, yeah. Yes, you did. Yes. Hmm. Can you give some kisses to mommy now? The good morning kisses. Hmm. Yes, I love you too. Yes, I love you. Good. Good morning. What do you want for breakfast? <gasps> what did mommy do to you? What did mommy do to you? Here, your dining table. Sit. Sit. So, guys, Tanya just put some coconut oil on him. It's very good for your dog. So, we treat, give him treats throughout the day. A um, couple of treats, at least two or three, right? Yeah. We give them two or three, um, two or three treats, and she make them at home. She sometimes take coconut oil and freeze it in small ice cubes, Sweet and she just give that to him, or she just take a piece of ice, and scoop it with some coconut oil, and give it to him. Marvel, yes, you look beautiful. Seems like you got all your sleep. Can you sit? Yeah. Can you sit? Yes, you're a good boy. You wait on your dining table. Yes, breakfast. Let's see what mommy is giving you for breakfast today. Here is the breakfast. So for breakfast, we, we give him chicken necks. Yeah. And we give him nine, eight, between. something between eight and eleven basically. Yeah. Depending, sometimes snacks are small, sometimes they are big. So it's all chicken necks. And then a little bit of pumpkin and goat milk. So I already explained you guys. <coughs> I already explained you guys about the pumpkin and the goat milk. Um, and in the morning we give him chicken neck. In the night we give him chicken blend, which and has all the superfoods. And chicken neck. And two chicken necks. So basically, that's what we feed him. I explain you everything that we do, what we use, medication purposes, like little things that could be a little money real money saver for you guys so i guess after feeding him we are gonna take him for a walk look at him look at him who's sitting over there on the dining table who's that good boy he's the cutest of all especially when he gets his food yeah now look at him dancing <laughs> You stay, okay? No, sit. What is in your ears? Go on the toy. Stay. Stay. Okay. <laughs> he enjoys his food so much. 
so I guess if you guys have any more questions I tried to cover most of the things Tanya showed you most of the things so we try to cover everything that we could what we feed him how we treat him what was beneficial so if you guys have any more questions for us do you want to know uh, the online link or anything anything that you guys want to know do comment on this uh, vlog uh, and please 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 share this video because as I said there's a lot of uh, stuff going on to uh, spread awareness about feeding raw diet to your pet so please try to <coughs> share this video as much as you can on your Facebook, Insta pages, social media just to spread this viral and, and let's spread this awareness of feeding our pets raw food instead of the garbage that gets in a bag so <coughs> uh, not targeting any specific brand uh, so that's it uh, that is this special Marvel uh, vlog, a day in a dog's life kind of a vlog, what yeah. Marvel really do um, in his lifestyle, uh, day to day stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope this was an informative video for you all and uh, comment, like, share, subscribe and thank you so much for watching us and thank you so much for yeah. being a part of our family. Until our next video.